Hello. So today, I have a really fun video. So, yesterday, I was reminded of a dream I had. So I went to my like Google Doc where I put all the dreams I could remember having there. And I found some really weird, crazy dreams and I was like, I need to like tell them to people. We're just gonna get right into it and and read my crazy dreams. December 31st, so I'm guessing this is like, I don't know exactly when, but I put the dates, like not the year, just the date. Okay, so December 31st, telling someone you don't need lots of toothpaste on your toothbrush. I had a guitar, no recollection of this dream. I'm so thankful that I put it down here. Okay, next dream, uh, sometime in January, I bleached my hair, okay? Okay, this is, this is gonna be a fun one. January 27th, I was at school in my, because this dream is interesting because I kind of remember it, but I was in school and I was in my LA class, my fifth period, my LA class, and One Direction comes in, not all of them just Liam and Harry and I was like what is going on here what's going on and then so in this I explain how our seating arrangements were and basically the class was like you know like u-shaped so they walk in and it's like u-shaped seats and I'm sitting like right here and Liam sits right next to me and my friend is sitting next to me and I think Harry is sitting somewhere else and like I was like, okay, wait, I think he was sitting next to Liam or something like that. Like, there was like, I don't know what was going on, but I was like, apparently, in this dream, since I was sitting between Liam and my friend, I, I didn't remember this part, but I wrote it down, so it must be true. I remember saying, move, I'm sitting there, and I moved and sat next to Harry. Like, I have no recollection of that, but that is a crazy dream. That was, that's, I, that's the only dream I've ever had, really, about like, celebrities or anything, I think. I don't think I've ever had any other dreams with celebrities in them, but yeah, that's it. This, that was so weird, right? Like, that had me in shock yesterday. I said, move, I'm sitting there, and I moved and sat next to Harry and Liam. I mean, it was my dream, so it, it's fine. Okay, this is another crazy one that, like, this one I have no recollection of. So, okay, first of all, it's January 29th, so it's been two days since I had my dream about One Direction. I, and for some reason I have a what makes you beautiful thing I don't know I literally that's what I wrote what makes you beautiful thing I don't know so basically I, that was part of my dream somehow then that same night I guess I had another dream or they could have been related I have no idea I didn't really explain that a game with three boys and three girls me included we were paired up and I was with this guy and in the end he killed everyone not me though in this apartment what does this mean? Cause, like, I have zero recollection of this. This is crazy to me. A game with three boys, three girls, we were paired up, and I was with this guy, and in the end he killed everyone. Not me though, in this apartment. I don't even remember, like I have, I don't remember any of this. But I wrote it down so it has to be true because I only wrote down if I had dreams. Like I haven't written in here in a long time. And then guess what, two nights later, I have another dream. I got a brandy tank top. I put it on. It was cute. I went from this. I went from like Harry and Liam came into my class, and I moved so I can sit right in between them, to like this dude murdered everyone around me in this weird apartment, I guess. Then I'm like, I got this cute tank top from Randy Melville. It was cute. I don't understand how my mind works, but I, I just want to say I've never had regular dreams. So after I read this, I will tell you about some of my dreams I've had, like from when I was a child. Okay, then we go to February 3rd. Something happens and I'm with the Community 7. So basically this is um, Community the show. I was with the characters, excluding Pierce. That's it. And Troy gets shot. We're all worried and we find our names on a crossword puzzle. Then I go home and then my friend is doing a science project with a fish going in opposite directions, but it doesn't work. So basically I was like dealing with like someone gets shot and then like we're all finding our names on a crossword puzzle. Then I go home 
and then my friend is doing a science project with fish going in opposite directions which I have zero clue what that means too like I don't understand my brain what the next dream is like uh, February 10th I had a dream about a small snake going into my friend's house okay Normal, I guess. That's like the most normal dream I think I've had so far. This is February 19th. I had small dreams that I can't remember, but, today, but today's was so crazy. I was in a class with my two friends. We were in there, then I left, and one of my friends, let's say friend A, friend A asked me why, and I said because I'm not going to waste my four hours in there. And he left to, he left too. Then we were in my room, and friend B popped up and was popped up in there then I demonstrated my valley girl accent then friend B was like you used to like friend A and I was like no and she showed me a snap of his name and it was from me but I never did that and the strangest thing is it's like from these two people I don't think like it's so weird like why are random people popping up in my dreams I just have to say friend A I do not know who that person really is I never actually had a crush on this person either. Why was my brain trying to convince me that I did? Like, what? what is this? Okay, then we skip like a whole month, March 4th, Avengers and I don't know. Okay, this is an interesting dream that I had that I think is really, really interesting because basically to um, ex explain more about this, when I was a kid, I had this dream about this really tall building in downtown or whatever and like being out there or something right and then on august 17th i said i've been having loads of vivid dreams but today i had a dream with some of my friends we and we were at downtown at night and we saw the building we were once standing on top of together and i was saying like how scary it was and something about the columbus tower or whatever it's called and we just talked about it in that building, which is also another dream I had. So basically, in this dream, I was like, do you guys remember having that one dream where you were standing at the top of there and then it was super scary? And they were like, yeah, in my dream. So I was like dreaming about a dream that I had. Like I was like talking to people in my dream about a dream that I had. And like, I remember this so vividly because I was like, yeah, do you guys remember that? And like that was a dream. And then they were like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. I woke up and I was like, what? Uh, we're skipping a couple weeks. September 1st. I've had loads, loads of dreams, but the one I remember is taking a shower and there being caterpillars there, and I freaked out. So uh, I, I don't really have a fear of caterpillars, but now, like, I didn't really, at least uh, before this, but I kind of developed a sort of fear because, like, I remember walking into the bathroom and there was just a bunch of caterpillars on the shower, and I was like, no. And it was really scary, actually. Then, now we're skipping a whole, almost year. It's August 2nd. And I'm guessing this one is last August. So, the other one, the other dreams ha had to have been about 2021. So, yeah, 2022 is this dream. August 2nd, 2022. I don't really know what was going on, but I was, like, at a hotel in a forest, I think. Like, this hotel that I went to in Oregon, kind of, where, like, the door is open and there's, like, a patio and it's kind of, like, overlooking the beach and stuff, right? But instead of it being the beach, it was this forest. And then I was with some people. I don't know then. I don't know. And then I was just talking with them. And then we went to sleep on the floor, like, the grass, and we just woke up. I don't know. That was a really strange dream. And that was kind of it with the dreams um these are all the dreams that i really wanted to share but now we're going to get into childhood dreams which are even i think they're better because they're like they're not funny but they're just more like like personally better you know like no one going around murdering anyone so basically my dreams as a kid were like magical dreams you know so there was always it was a lot going on there was a lot going on i have to say a lot um but so for my scary dreams there was only like one type of scary dream where there would be like someone living in my walls so that that was it like i would see their face through a hole but like i never really focused on those dreams like i never really thought about them so moving on to my actual dreams that i remember so i think my earliest dream that i can remember is 
being with my kindergarten class and teacher and going on this magical going to this like arcade or something went to this like magical arcade from this train and it was like very much harry potter vibes but you know like the subway station from wizards of waverly place that subway station but like we went like it was magical it was a magical train and that kind of thing it was very fun and that was a reoccurring dream that I had that I would constantly go back to. We would go to the arcade, we'd do all this really fun stuff and it was really cool. Okay, next I had a dream about aliens ones. Basically, okay, this I had to start two dreams out because these two dreams almost got connected. But basically, aliens were going to take over the earth and we were all freaking out and I was like, whoa, this is so scary. I don't know. like. I just remember being like, everyone was freaking out, we were just driving everywhere for some reason, right? This My childhood dreams, anything bad was happening, you were driving somewhere. And then, basically, the aliens took our planet and put us on their planet, but it was all good because their planet was made of candy. So we were all just like floating on this planet and I was just eating candy. I was actually like really happy. Let's move on to my other dream. I have this dream that I got turned into like ant-sized. Yeah, that was interesting. Ooh, okay. So this is, I used to, and I still do actually, my dreams tend to be like if we took this world and we mixed it up a little bit. So like it's always a little bit off, but it's not completely off, you know, right? Like we would be in places that are recognized, but don't exist here. Like roads that I can drive by and be like, oh, this looks different in my dream, right? Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but that was the vibe. Just pretend like you understand what's going on in my mind. And um, basically, we had this tornado coming, and we heard it on the radio, and we were, like, freaking out when we were driving somewhere. Because obviously, you know, you got to drive somewhere when there's a tornado happening. Um, I don't know. Never dealt with any kind of tornado thing. But I was in the car, right and we made this one turn onto this road and like it was so vivid in my mind and like it led back to my house which doesn't make sense for like real life and as a kid i would constantly every time we drove past that road be like we went there once right and my mom would be like no we didn't it was a dream you had and i was like okay so also i just have to say like sometimes my childhood memories i i've dreamed very vividly and also like i could sometimes i couldn't like discern is it discern the right word i don't know but um i couldn't figure out whether something was a dream or like real so like now sometimes i look back at my childhood memories and i'm like was that a dream because i don't no. I had a dream about someone I knew becoming a triplet and two of them were evil and one of them was good and I had to figure out which one was the evil one and that was really weird. That was really weird, dude. Hello, it's future me, uh, like hours later actually, and I just realized I don't think I made an outro for this video. Um, so basically these were my crazy dreams or weird dreams that I wanted to share. I really do love my dreams. They're amazing because I don't think I've ever in my life had one serious dream. Maybe except for that one dream where the guy killed everyone. But, like, I don't remember that, so it doesn't count, okay? But I don't think I've ever had any, like, super serious dreams. And I'm very happy about that. So, I hope you enjoyed my dreams, too. Um, I hope you had fun with that. And I hope you have crazy dreams, too, because they're very entertaining. When you wake up in the morning and you're like, What? What was going on in that dream? What? What? Like, you know? Okay, so thank you for watching, have a good day, life, whatever, bye!